In this video, we will learn the concept of electric field at the PN junction. So, here I have taken a question from the previous grade exam and the question is Consider an abrupt PN junction at T equals to 300 Kelvin means at room temperature. So, on in the figure, so here we have the PN junction. Of course, there is a P region and there is an N region. Of course, P plus means highly doped region and N region is lightly doped. Okay. So, the depletion region width action on the N side of the junction is 0.2 micrometer. So, the action region is given as 0.2 micrometer and the permittivity of silicon is given as uh, 1.044 into 10 raised to minus 12 farad per centimeter. At the junction, the approximate value of the peak electric field is what? So, we have to determine here it is the junction and here we have to determine what will be the value of electric field at this junction. So, before uh, starting to solve this question, we will learn how the junction is being formed and uh, what is the value what how we can calculate the electric field here so here i start with the very basic concept of electric field at pn junction so here i have formed a simple pn junction of course this is a p region so there will be acceptor atoms in this region and at the junction as uh, there is a recombination of holes from this side and uh, electrons from this side so there will be the ions formed at the junction so acceptor ions formed here and in the end region of course the donor ions will be formed so donor ions are just positive ions because that uh, and donates the electrons that's why that is positive and acceptor ions accept the electron that's why there is a negative ions and the width of course given by depletion width this is a depletion region and this region is in p uh, side so it is xp depletion width in p region and this is xn depletion width in xn region when we will add these two when we will add these two, we will get the overall depletion width, means total depletion width at the PN junction. So we will not go in deep with uh, with this concern. We will come to the uh, knowledge of the con electric field at the junction and we will learn this concept only in this video. So some factors that is given here are uh, Na acceptor atom density, Nd is uh, donor atom density, Xp is depletion width in PN region just explained and Xn is depletion width in N region. Okay, so at this region I am talking about this region. So for this region there is the charge enclosed means this will be in the cubicle and so this shape approximately I have taken one or uh, only the side view so this will be uh, like this P junction will be like this way and here the electric field will be or electric flux density will be outwards and of course in this region there will be charged enclosed charge enclosed so in this region the total charge enclosed will be given by the electric flux density into the electric uh, sorry area area of the surface or d into s you can say so first of all we will find the electric uh, it's a total charge enclosed in this region and then we will try to determine the electric flux density at this junction using that enclosed charge so here i start the enclosed charge is given by E into Na into Xp into S. How so? Xp into S is just give in, it, it just gives the volume. Xp is the depletion width and S is of course the area, the cross-sectional area of uh, this region. And so this will give the volume. Na is of course the, uh, the acceptor ions density 
and each acceptor ion having the electronic charge so if I will multiply it with electronic charge then I will get the charge density means overall rho V I will get by E and A means this is a volume uh, sorry uh, charge density in, in this volume or in this region E into Na and when I will multiply it with uh, the overall volume of this region then I will get the total charge enclosed so here in this way I can get the total charge enclosed thus this is the uh, rho V and this is the volume so the rho V into multiplied with the volume so this is the total charge enclosed E N A X P into S so overall D into S means electric flux density into area is equal to the charge enclosed very well known Gauss theorem we know very well about this so D into S so S is cancelled out so overall electric flux density at the junction is E N A X P from the P side we have determined it similarly we can determine it from the N side and the result will be in the similar way that is E into N D X N so of course at the junction these two electric flux density will be of course equal because at a single point the electric flux density will be definitely equal so E N A X P equals to E N D X N overall N A X P equals to N D X N this is a very famous relation that we all know so we were concerned about the electric field only so electric field can be determined just by dividing the electric flux density with the permittivity and so E N A X P upon epsilon or E N D X N upon epsilon by using any of these formula we can determine the electric field intensity at the junction so now we come to the question and we will solve it using this formula so this is the problem that we have and here just I will apply the uh, the derivative the final result that we have just derived E and D X in upon epsilon so E is the ele electron electronic current uh, charge sorry electronic charge 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 and D is the donor atom density and 10 raised to 16 per, uh, per centimeter cube given here and uh, xn is the width displaced width of depletion in n region and as it is here given 0.2 micrometer so we will convert in centimeter because all are in centimeters here so 0.2 into 10 raised to minus 4 centimeter and uh, divided by epsilon epsilon means permittivity value given in the question and we will just put it here and by solving we will get the result so this is the uh, value of the electric field at the um, PN junction and this electric field is the maximum value means this is the peak value of the electric field in uh, means greater than any electric means uh, at any point if we will calculate the electric field then we will have this charge enclosed so of course that electric field will be less than this one so at junction the electric field is maximum that's why here peak word has been used so this is peak electric field and the value is 30.7 so here the answer will be 30.7 so this is all about the concept and I will come with some other concept in the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching